and today is the first day of the Teacher Heart Out Conference. everyone so welcome to another episode of what in the world is Sanchez doing <laughs> so today is Friday October 12 2013 and today is the first day of the teacher heart out conference and I just arrived at the fountain blue as you saw so I'm just walking up so that I can find the conference center and find all my friends because there's a lot of people that I follow on Instagram and we follow each other and we get to actually see each other in person. So I'm really looking forward to it. I did carry my Teachers Pay Teachers bag with me and in there I have my 80s outfit for tonight because we're having an 80s after party or party or celebration, whatever, but I'm gonna have a great time. And I can't wait to share with you what I end up doing today. The conference is a two-day conference, so today is the first day. I am missing school today but my principal gave me the okay to go and this counts as professional development, so I am very excited. So let's get ready to head inside and see who we find, who we meet, and what the day brings us. So see you soon. Someone that I know dear to my heart that we did our student teaching together was her mentor teacher when she was doing student teaching. And I saw her post last night. I'm like, oh my god, you're gonna be there, I'm gonna be there too. She goes, yay! And yeah, so we're here, yay! We're meeting in person, and this is what it's all about. Coming to something like this. Teacher connection. Yeah, teacher coming connection. to something like this and then like How meeting exciting. people that we've been following together and everything yeah, on Instagram. And admiring from afar. Yes, we come together and meet in person. Yeah. So I love it. Thank you, Teach Your Heart Out. Cause Thank you. Woo! And here is Steph! Yay! Forever we've been following each other. And I kept telling her, I'm sure if we meet in person, we'll become like instant, instant best, best friends. friends. Instant, instant best, best friends. friends. So if you don't follow her, please follow her. I'll leave both of their handles down below. Yay! <laughs> and the meetups continue. Here's my friend Andrea. You may have remembered her from my first teacher meetup for South Florida teachers. She's here. Hi. We're gonna be spending time together today along with Gifted Teacher 305, which I'll show you in a moment. But let me grab my stuff and get going. All right, everyone, I'm here with oh, Isa. Hi. And we've been following each other for a while. And she kind of almost brought me to tears <laughs> because she's like, oh, you inspired me so much. And I've been following you since you had SanchezClass.com. Y'all, that was like in 2012. Long time ago. No, no, 2002 <laughs> and on. So thank you. Oh my thank God, you. it's so nice to meet you in person. It's really nice to meet you. So I'm You're looking forward. You're just like your video. Oh, thank Genuine. you. Genuine. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm having such a great time and it's just the beginning and we're not even starting yet the conference. It's just meeting people. It's amazing. So yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> you put a smile to my face and thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> we're going in. Oh, it's gonna take a picture of it. We're going in and I'm here with Tony. Yeah. Get the so teacher excited. 35. I'm so excited. Check it out. Amazing time. We've got kids. We've got to reach. So keep 
My job is not to be the motor of the learning. That's their job. They have to learn what it is that's important to them. We've adopted this as kind of like a mantra, and that that is how we work with each other. And when my kids go work with other kids, they also understand that that is on them. That before they can go work with a second grader, before they can work on a Skype call, they have to embrace these people with a love and an understanding that is much greater than what they're used to being able to give people. There is no dismissing people because we cannot underestimate how incredible some of these kids are that have never been tapped into their potential. Hi guys, I'm here with Michelle from Apples and ABCs and she's amazing. Thank you. Anything you want to say? I love Teacher Hard <laughs> Me too, I'm so excited. I'm going to session one. Okay, have fun. Bye. So we just finished a session with Brittany Root, AKA Miss Fifth, and she was giving us a lot of motivational math activities and ideas to incorporate into our math lessons. And I am just fired up. And Brittany, you're amazing. And I can't wait to talk to you a little bit more and pick your brain for all those wonderful ideas that you have. So right now we're actually gonna go to lunch. We have reservations at Pizza and Burger right in the Fountain Blue, and we have a nice little group of people. So here we go. Before lunch, we're taking a little small detour so that we can get our shirts. So this is the line. a great keynote presentation by Jad Deeryberry. And right now we're in Mr. G's presentation. And I'll just take a picture, which I'll put it right here. And yeah, I can't wait to learn more about how to organize my reading blocks. So here we go. All right, so I just finished my session with Mr. G and it was awesome to get some feedback and ideas about my reading block. And now I am heading downstairs to Chelsea's session for the anchor charts and I'm really excited for that. So let's see what we end up creating. The same technique I did up here, you're going to do right here. 
capital B-I-G. It's a little thicker, so it stands out, pops to the kids, idea. So I'm gonna go ahead over here, and I'm gonna write what? So I'm here with Chelsea, Hi. aka Hipster Art Teacher, and we just finished the anchor charts, and it was amazing. So much fun! Yeah, thank you for all the tips. Oh, of course. And I can't wait to take this home and finish it because my <laughs> students are gonna love it because main idea is just what we're doing this oh, weekend perfect. next week. That worked out so perfect. it's perfect. Awesome. Yay. All right, Thanks now we're gonna get ready to go to the '80s party. So it's gonna be so fun. See you later. <laughs> I'm here at the 80s party, and as you can see, this is my outfit. Tracy, take you. So I'm having a great time, and I can't wait to share more about my weekend here with Teacher Hard Out. So see you later. Two, two, three, four, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. So hello again everyone as you saw we've been having a really good time at the 80s party and I can't wait for tomorrow which is day two I'm about to end it for today but I will see you tomorrow but just so I can show you one more time this is my outfit I hope you can kind of see it I'm wearing a little pink tutu and I do have some rainbow leg warmers and my hair is off to the side and I have a little magenta kind of headband but I've been having a really great time today I went to two sessions one with Miss Fifth aka Brittany Root and the other one with Mr. G who happens to be Bridget from the letter classrooms cousin and his session was all about how to structure your reading block and Brittany's session was all about how to use math games and math activities that engage students during math time and it was great so now I'm getting ready to head on out and go home but I will be back tomorrow Tomorrow, sharing more of the amazing experience that I'm having here at Teacher Heart Out Miami. See you tomorrow. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.